Is this bitch in the same shirt that she was in the previous video? Uh, is she doing two videos in one day? that I did a few days ago really and this time I'm going to cover Prague because it was the second destination in the whole adventure so right after I finished with Salzburg which was unfortunately the shortest time I've spent in the whole trip I've only had about three days there but nonetheless really enjoyed it so right after that the morning that I was going to Prague I got a car rented actually not me driving but a guy who was driving it for me <laughs> okay. so hey everybody um today is 21st of september and we have arrived to prague in sec republic we have a really cool flat and so far this is the view that we have Just, it took about four hours to ride in a car non-stop actually from Salzburg and we've arrived, we had some time to chill and I just decided to go out and visit the city. I can tell you definitely that I did not like it the first time I met it and I was like, shit, did I? Am I like gonna waste my time here? Because I had four days in the city. So yeah, I just went and ate a little bit, chilled a little bit, saw the city and it was very crowded, very just all over the place, it was very like, it felt like everything was closing on in on us, but you know, nonetheless, just I tried to enjoy it as much as I could and let's go just to the next day. The day started with a random walk to the square, to the main square of the city where the castle stands and uh, like a lot of people were there like, wow, that was, my god. Oh, and by the way, I've tried the Trodennik or something like that. It's basically a pastry that has a hole inside of it and you can fill it up with whipped cream or ice cream or something like that and it has a flavoring to it so sometimes it's like chocolatey inside or it has a sugar and cinnamon around it really tasty definitely worth the calorie i've decided to skip the castle because it was like a pathetic line to it and i just i didn't feel like you know so right from the square decided to just continue straight just you know run random like just going somewhere and I ended up going to the Patron Hill which is a very well-known hill it's huge it has a park in it and it has this sort of Eiffel Tower to it which is definitely much smaller it stands at only 63 and a half meters of height but since it is standing on a hill it is very high it's like probably the highest point of Prague and if you're going up there again by stairs did I tell you already that they like stairs in Europe so climbing up the stairs was definitely worth it it wasn't as much it was only 260 something stairs high so you could just see the whole panorama of Prague beautiful and just breathtaking and very colorful that's what I've noticed in Prague it has this sort of um, certain like orangey yellowish tone to everything around it so the whole rooftops and buildings and the city itself and 
trees and the river was just beautiful so after going there again looked up for some food again killed it insert picture here this i ate this all of this i ate it and then i decided to have actually a free time and loved it just had to walk around the city get to know a little bit more and in that evening we decided we, actually i bought tickets to a concert it was my first concert ever and it was very exciting Something that I've never experienced before so I, I the whole like about hour I was just sitting with like goosebumps all over my body because you know it's one thing hearing it from like YouTube or like in your iPod or something but hearing classical music and opera singer live is so much more exciting so much more just thrilling so I, I definitely recommend it if you enjoy classical music Prague, as any other city in Europe, is known to be full of greenery, nature and forests, so I just decided to visit one of those places. Good morning, it's day three of this first planet. No, I'm kidding though. Um, so today is a walking day. It's a, yeah, we've decided to go for a trip and then I decided, you know what, no, I'm gonna go on a trip by myself. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking for a forest or any other place interesting enough for me to walk in. Um, and I just randomly picked up a station that I like and I said I'm going here so hopefully I'm going to survive and not die. Um, yeah so wish me luck and I'll see you soon. Oh, it's so beautiful, just so so just I don't know green and fresh and you can see the city there far away but forget the technicality. What was also very exciting is that even though like after we've already left the forest and explored some more I went back to the city center and I found myself seeing more places that I haven't seen before which is a very funny thing because you know like on the second day you sort of feel like oh so this is a city I get it it's, it's small and then the next day you realize that it's actually bigger and, and much more like it has all these sort of corners that if you turn the other way you just find more places so that's exactly what happened i found one of the hugest hugest um parks in the city and it had like a lot of places for just chilling and it had a par skate park and it has a lot of just greenery where people can just lie down or play with their dogs and it actually had a huge metronome right at the top of it looking into the city center sort of counting all the historical moments which is i think a really cool thing the next and last day in prague i decided to see the city from the river because so long i was just walking around and looking down the river being like oh this is beautiful but i decided that finally i want to get on a boat and that's what i did i took a boat ride there and just enjoyed it and it was beautiful because from one side they let you enjoy with the musical companionship of i think was it i don't remember but it had some sort of very just chill music playing and just just enjoying it all and from the other side it had a sort of narrative talking about five or six languages and explaining you about little places and little historical facts it was very very nice it wasn't you know aggressive or like just like ah. it was just telling you everything that you wanted to know like little things that everyone wants to know also i visited one of the main squares the other square because there are a few squares in the city um so one of the main squares 
church. So basically I went to one of the towers again, climbing up, not taking the elevator. Something got into me and I decided that elevators are not that interesting anymore. You can just see the whole city from up and it was breathtaking and amazing and I can't tell you how much I fell in love that moment probably with Prague because it was just like, again, like you just travel in time and you see this new place. The rest of the day I decided to just devote myself to shopping and eating more and just shopping a little bit more and yeah, that was, that was my experience in Prague, definitely recommend it definitely going back there sometime in the future and thank you for watching this if you want to see the other videos of my trip which was Salzburg and Vienna I will link it in the informational thing so it's somewhere here you have the I yeah so you can just click on the I somewhere here and enjoy my other videos about the trip until then go and listen to some uh, classical music because it is teaching and relaxing. Not kidding, even. Like, that's a horrible situation.